Hi everyone, Darren Pang here for Blackhawks Insider. I'm joined by Connor Bedard, and it's probably the first one you've done so far this year. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. Looking forward to it? Yeah, for sure. I, well, it's going to be a lot of fun because I, I use no really big words. Yeah, yeah. You'll figure that out. Yeah, really I'm a dub guy, so I wouldn't right. understand them. <laughs> yeah. I'm an Ontario League guy, and you're a dub guy. Yeah. <laughs> I get it all the way. So we're in uh, we're in Montreal here at the hotel, getting ready for a hockey night in Canada game on Saturday night, and that's got to be pretty thrilling. But it's also our first game with the Chicago Blackhawks and NBC Sports Network. So with all these games being nationally, we finally get a, a turn at it. Looking yeah, yeah. forward to it. Yeah, no, it's exciting. I mean, growing up and. I remember me and my dad always get excited for Saturday nights and I guess Saturday all day there's games so um, you know that hockey night in Canada is, is special it's like a tradition in, in the country of course so getting to be a part of that and of course being you know home opener of a Canadian franchise it's uh, it's pretty cool and special. And, and even more so you've got uh, I know we've got some pictures here that uh, You've got some a relationship a little bit with Marty St. Louis only because you played against his, his son in, was that at the Brick or was that many tournaments as you were growing up um, when you played? I think three tournaments. It was Brick and then the two years after we were in a couple tournaments against him. So um, yeah, it's cool to see obviously his transition into coaching and it seems like he's doing a great job from everything I hear and um, from every, everything their players say about him. It's, it's all positive and um, obviously one of the best players to ever do it and, and to see him kind of make that transition and you know have the success he is yeah. in coaching is it's pretty special. Yeah, really special. Little guys. I always cheer for the little guys. Yeah, yeah. You you know, un it. Undrafted little guys are my specialty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, he's, a, he's also a guy that encourages a lot from creative players, mm -hmm. which you're a creative player and you're getting the same thing from Luke Richardson, aren't you? Yeah. The, just the way, he's, the way he handles the bench and the way he talks to you guys on the bench. Yeah, he's awesome. I mean, I feel so comfortable every day at the rink and you know, when I'm out there trying to make plays and, you know, I, I'm never really nervous of, all oh, is Luke going to be okay with that or anything? He, he gives us so much freedom and um, obviously we got to play in our system and, and structure and, and be uh, responsible in that way. But I think when we have the puck and when we're trying to make plays, he lets us be us and, you know, be creative, which, of course, for myself is, is how I like to play. Well, speaking of systems and whatnot, I know you, you're in the same building that he is, and, he, and he's mentioned this before, and, and uh, the media got a kick out of at the Whole Foods that's down below when yeah, he gave yeah. you a little bump from behind <laughs> on the cart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he's got a little sense of humor yeah, as well. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a really good guy. He's super nice, you know, funny, and uh, it's, it's, I think the funniest thing is he played with uh, Nick Felino. So he played, I guess, 23 seasons in the NHL, which... It's almost unheard of. There's very few guys who do that. So, I mean, you, you see every day he works out like a horse. And, you know, that's obviously why he played as long as he did. So just learning from him and getting to talk to him. You know, he said he's, he's, he's a funny guy. He's a really nice guy. So, um, yeah, we're all super lucky to be coached by him. Yeah, 23 years. Huh? I, mean, just, I mean, here you are. You're going to play your, your third game. Just yeah, yeah. thinking ahead yeah. to 23 seasons. Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's really impressive. And, yeah, it takes a... You know, a lot of hard work and dedication, and you know, so you have tons of respect for a guy that was able to do that. A lot of guy, a lot of our fans here probably don't realize how hard Luke works on that bike. Yeah, he, yeah. he grinds it, huh? Yeah, every morning, every morning you go in there, and he's uh, sweating pretty hard on that thing. <laughs> That's so. what happens to us old guys. Yeah, <laughs> we go a little bit, we got to sweat a no, lot. No, he he goes hard, and uh, yeah, every day. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. Very cool. Is there is there anything so far that surprised you? Uh, I think the biggest thing for me is, I mean, obviously these guys don't, you know, I think don't get the credit they deserve is the trainers and the equipment staff, security, PR, everyone behind the scenes of how much work they really do for us. Like we're s treated so well and they do, like I said, just they're up late and up early, you know, doing our gear or getting everything organized. And, you know, we're able to just, you know, focus on hockey, which is what we want to do, of course. And, I think that's so special, just the work they put in, and um, for us to, yeah, just have them is, is so huge. So that's something coming in that you know, really, I really noticed. Yeah, we we've got uh, got the it's the best world, a uh, best league in the world by far. Yeah. You see it, and we see your big security Brian there with yeah, you yeah. all the time too, huh? Takes yeah. care of you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's him and and everyone. They just make us all feel so, uh, I mean, safe and um, you know, just well taken care of and. Yeah, we're, we're such lucky people that we get to do this every day. And I mean, I've only been, you know, here for a month, but I felt the same in junior with our staff and, and everything, just getting to play hockey every day. And, and these people make it so easy. And yeah, we're, we're the luckiest people on earth. You spend any time uh, 
talking to some of your buddies in Regina and, and the people there? I know you've oh, been yeah. gone and uh, you've been busy, but you keep up. Yeah, I've watched. I've watched every game, um, every game of theirs so far. Basically, I think one game we had a flight, so I couldn't. But yeah, other than that, I've watched basically every game, and uh, I talk to a lot of guys all the time. And um, yeah, of course, some of my best friends that you know I shared a lot of memories with. And um, yeah, definitely keep in touch. Yeah, the the uh, Luke was saying that he saw you on the bike in the in the gym here in Montreal, and you were watching a game. You're 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 like. There, there aren't that many guys, or are there that many guys of your generation that love to watch hockey like you like to watch hockey? The people I know, I mean, basically all my friends are hockey players and kind hockey of nuts. hockey nerds a bit <laughs> like myself. So, um, yeah, I think a lot of guys all, you know, they'll send me a clip of something, the game they watched, or I'll do the same kind of. So, um, yeah, I mean, the people I'm close with like to watch a lot, and um yeah, I enjoy it. I think you can learn so much, and you know, I'm still a fan as well as a player, so I just enjoy watching the game. If I quizzed you right now, would you be able to tell me right-hand shots and left-hand shots? I should be able to, I good? think. Yeah? Probably. Okay, well, you know your team, so I'll go there. So Nick Suzuki? Right. Right. Cole Caulfield? Right. Short stick, huh? Caulfield? Yeah. Does he? It was a, he? Didn't you do a thing where he saw you? Yeah, yeah, yours, yeah. I think mine's I, just really long. Yours is His really is long. His is probably more normal. Yours, Anybody on the ice ask you about how long this stick is? Uh, in practice, guys, not in games, but uh, in practice, a lot guys are curious about it a little. Okay, how about Gooley, the defense? Gooley's a lefty. So you you are you are pretty darn good at yeah, it. Yeah, I played him in the dub a lot though, and played with him in ah. Canada. So, so see, I, I I used to ask goalies all the time, like you've got to know who's a righty and who's a lefty. Mm -hmm. And I remember when Jimmy Waite, we were partners in Chicago. Yeah. I'm like Jimmy, you got to know who's a righty or a lefty all the time. Or know their tape, or yeah. you got a very unique way of taping your stick. Did that start at an early age? You kind of go up the heel a little bit, where not a lot of guys do. Yeah, I don't know if it's crazy unique. I see a good amount, but I just like the way it looks, honestly. And um, I kind of started doing it last year. I changed out my tape job a bit, just here and there for fun. Always or white. Whatever. And uh, I was, I used black tape until junior, and then I just thought white looked a little cooler. So. Okay, which guy on your team currently tapes the stick the same way? I don't think anyone really? does uh, that, but close. McKenzie. Yeah, I'm sure guys are close. Yeah, he might do it. Go up a little bit. A little bit. Um, yeah, some guys. I think some guys have never changed their tape job their whole life, and some guys like to fool around with it. So yeah. Could you use Corey Perry's big fat paddle? I don't know. I don't <laughs> think so. Um, but it works for him. Obviously, the career he's had. So has he been fun playing with? Yeah, just being around him. Awesome. I mean, someone you grow up watching and future Hall of Famer, uh, what he's done in the league is pretty remarkable and, you know, a winner, of course. So um, learning from him, seeing him, you know, every day, of course, been a lot of fun. He's, he's a fun guy to be around, too. You would have seen him a lot on the late games, too, being in BC, with him being yeah. in Anaheim. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, watch watched him a lot. Um, you know, they were always in the playoffs, too, so always watching that. And, um, yeah, just it's pretty crazy to kind of, you know, he's a teammate now. And, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty remarkable. Actually, the whole thing is very remarkable. You must be, uh, and your family must be pretty thrilled with how this has gone. They're, are they going to be here now? Yeah. They, they've driven, let's see how many miles they've covered to cover you so far yeah, yeah. now. Yeah they, yeah, they flew into Pitt and then flew to Boston, flew here, and then they're going to go to Toronto as well. So Perfect. Um, are you going to take the train? Are you going to fly? I don't know. I think they'll fly. I'm not too sure, to be honest, but yeah, I'll ask them. And uh, But they're having a lot of fun. I mean, they're they they love watching me. I hope. And, uh, of course they do. No, yeah. No, do they get nervous? They, 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 they get nervous at all? Yeah, for sure. Um, may, probably more than me, I'd say. Just because I feel like even if you're watching, you you don't have control on on stuff either. But um, no, they get nervous. I think um, they know how much how competitive I am and how much I want to be my best. And they know how you know mad or whatever I'll be too if we lose or if I'm they not know, a They know you better game. than anybody. Yeah, so they, they just don't want that. When you went into the boards there, were they a little nervous? Um, I don't think so. I mean, it was a pretty quick thing. And, uh, yeah, I was on next shift, so it wasn't a huge deal. And so interestingly enough, the you know the impact that you've had already in the league is uh, Alex Laferriere. And I've got to say that right because he's from – he's not from Quebec. Yeah, so yeah. it sounds like it's a French, but he's from New Jersey. But I said, did you watch the – Connor's first game, and he said, like, yeah, of course I did. I said, Seven, you know, how many attempts, 22 yeah. minutes, and, and he went on. And it, Is that even for you to, do you feel like, wow, I, <laughs> that's uh, 
kind of impressive that you hear that from um, around the league? It's I, cool, for sure. I mean, I think talking to guys, they love watching other guys. And um, for me, like, there's guys that you know, always tune in. And every game you watch, I mean, it's the best players in the world. You're going to learn something. or So I think guys really take pride in that. And, and the hockey community itself is so tight and so close. And, um, you know, if I see someone's playing their first game or a friend or, you know, whatever someone you've heard of, then – you're, you're, you're going to want to watch, and um, for someone to say that about me is, is really special for sure. Okay, I'll end it with this here on, on the Blackhawks Insider. Um, your second, well, first game against Sydney, obviously, and then your second game, the ceremony, the introductions of the great Boston Bruins stars. Mm -hmm. who, who would be more excited to hear some of those names? You, you or your dad, and yeah. especially when they say at the very end, and number four, Bobby Orr. Yeah. Is that... Was yeah. that something else? I mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, we were in the room, obviously, and just hearing it, I was like, no way, this guy's here. He's going to watch our game. But uh, <laughs> for my, my dad, and I mean, obviously, he grew up being a hockey fan, and he got to – he was in the stands watching all these guys go out. I think that was really cool for him. I, he, he, he mentioned that. So uh, I think for, for everyone, I mean, these guys are legends and mean, mean so much to the game of hockey. So – uh, it was a special night. It's it's cool that we got to be a part of their home opener, of course, kind of the hundredth year and everything. Unfortunate result, but uh, it was it was fun to to kind of be a part of that and um, you know obviously sports town, hockey city. So it was great. I know you met Wayne Gretzky, but he's going to be. I, I'd hate to name drop because Robert De Niro told me never to name drop, but he's going to be uh, there on uh, on Monday oh, yeah. with his son Trevor. Okay. And so uh, so you have another great one in the building. Yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> no, it's great. It's, uh, it's special when, when those guys uh, support. And I think it's cool that, you know, they're still, still love the game and still love to be around the game. It just shows how special it is and how lucky we are to be, uh, be playing the sport every day. You got that right. You're right on the mark. And it was lucky for me to sit down with you. And I appreciate this. Yeah. We thank do you. lots. Yeah. Okay? Thank you very much. All right, big guy. That is your Blackhawks Insider with Connor Bedard. I'm Darren Pang.